Hey, 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 here we go with another video focusing on algebraic equations. And so if you take a look here at our definition of an algebraic equation below, it is a mathematical sentence that says two things are equal. An equation does contain an equal sign. Um, as you saw in this week's videos, expressions do not contain equal signs. So look at the example of our equation below, two more than a number equals six. Well, we know that more than is a key word for addition. So two more than a number, you're going to add two in a variable, and then it says equals six. So you just literally write an equal sign, six. So n plus two or two plus n, doesn't matter with addition, equals six. So let's get started with a few addition examples. One half more than a number equals four. So when we take a look at this example, I like to underline my keywords here. More than equals. All right, so we know that more than is keyword for addition and obviously equals four. So sometimes I've even seen students write it, the numbers and the variables right underneath it. So if it's one half more than a number, so you just write in a variable, there's your equation, one half plus n equals four, or n plus one half, but it doesn't really matter how you write it. Let's jump over here to our next example. A number more than 16.5 equals 37.9. All right, so again, we've got a number more than 16.5 equals 37.9. So you can see that I kind of chunk those things. So a number, any number, it doesn't matter. So you put in a variable, a. More than means add. Let me rewrite that. 16.5 equals 37. I'm going to run out of space here. There we go, 37.9. There you go, A plus 16.5 equals 37.9. All right, last example, the sum, we know that the sum is the answer to an addition problem of 46 and a number equals 89. So obviously equals 89, that's an easy part, right? The sum of, sum means to add, right? So 46 and a number. So how about B? 46 plus B equals 89. So those are three good mathematical algebraic, exp um, sorry, not expressions, equations to look at. For addition, now we're going to take a few examples of subtraction and look at those. 14 less than a number equals 32. So look at how that's chunked. 14 less than a number equals 40 equals 32. Now, the only thing you've got to be careful with with subtraction is which order do you put your terms in? Are we going to write 14 minus a number or are we going to write a number minus 14? Well, if you think about this, 14 less than a number so 14 has to come second because it's less than this number. So the number is the first term that we're going to start off with. Minus 14 equals 32. All right. If you wrote 14 minus n equals 32, that, that would be incorrect. You need to make sure that you write n minus 14. Let's take a look at another one. N decreased by 3 equals 12. All right, so obviously the equals 12 is pretty self-explanatory. N decreased by 3. This one tells you which order to go in. So you're taking N and you're decreasing it by 3. So that means you're going to take N minus 3 equals 12. All right, last example. The difference, difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, of 20 and a number equals 15. All right, so the difference, we know that that means subtract, of 20 and a number equals 15. Well, the equals 15 is an easy part to put in. We know that we're going to be subtracting, 
Now, are we going to write 20 minus n or n minus 20? Well, in this scenario, it does not tell us what we are going to be doing. So we are going to be taking 20 minus the variable, 20 minus a. So 20 in a number. Yeah, that doesn't really tell you what order to put it in. So you just simply put it in the order in which they present it to you. So the difference of 20 and a number equals 15. There you go. 20 minus A equals 15. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Tune back in tomorrow as we finish up the week with multiplying and dividing equations.